level one to level 25 in one day, less than 24 hours? Well, there are a lot of things that you can do as a new player to get experience, level up, unlock new dragons, and now that the collection system's changed, it is quite different unlocking things in DML. But today, I am going to be taking you on a journey of my first steps on a brand new account and the ways that you yourself can take advantage of some of this and get lots of stuff super quick in game. So this is DML Rebirth, not to be confused with DML Reborn. Uh, Reborn was essentially this, but from a long time ago. Um, but a lot has changed in games since then. Many, many differences and challenges have faced us. And my first challenge with all of this was actually trying to um, remove my original account from my phone. But we did get through that eventually. So here I am inputting my age, my gender, and welcome to a new account. 4847, what is that, 69? <laughs> uh, funny number. But this is tutorial DML. So a lot of this is pretty self-explanatory at the beginning. You can't really do anything different from the tutorial. You can't even change where you want to put the habitats, for goodness sake. Um, so this is, we're just going to speed through this as quickly as we can. But... The main thing about me doing this is that currently I have the divine chests in game and those are going to help us out a ton. And we also have the dragon master pass currently in game, which is also going to net us tons of stuff. And even free to play brand new players can take major, major boosts from things like the dragon master pass. But here we go, we got our wonderful wind dragon, we're going to throw him in this habitat over here. No, this isn't the first time I've started a new DML account, so we get the gist of things. But main thing that you want to be doing as a new player, whether that's a level 10 player or a level 35, a level 50 player, main thing that you want to be doing is using 100% of your energy as soon as it's up to do your map battles. Which also means that some of the first two things you're going to want in-game are a hatchery upgrade, and portal upgrades. Those are single-handedly some of the most important things in game if you want to level up and progress quickly. So another thing is we do have quests and lots and lots of quests and uh, these quests can give things, oh god one time speed DML, oh thank god two times. But the quests that we have can give us gems, they can give us food, they can give us gold, and they can give us lots of experience. So the quests themselves are also going to be really important for the first few levels. Um, after the first sort of 10 to 15 levels, however, they become not quite as important for progression. But we'll get to that when we get to it. So... Of course, you're going to be able to tell how far into the game I am based on my daily login bonuses and my um, general, you know, other unlockables and things like that. But in one day, we definitely spiraled through the early levels of the game, easily got beyond level 25. You can hit level 30 in one day, but um, I didn't want to waste the resources for a couple of reasons at the time, which, um, again... When we get there, you'll find out. But first of all, we've got this initial primary collection, and now we can finally start clicking buttons on our own. So, another one of the most important things is literally, as soon as you get out of the tutorial, you can get yourself a prairie dragon. At, like, literally level three, you can get a prairie dragon. And it, this is it. Do I delete my old account? It had lots of limited dragons, Pixie Dot, Thais Emran, Ra. Feels bad, dude. But sayonara. Sayonara. So, um, goodbye, old Android account. We can still see you in the DML Reborn series, so um, I don't feel too bad about that account getting deleted, but it was nice knowing you. It was nice knowing you. So, yeah, 484769 is my new Android account player code and for doing that again we've got a prairie dragon at level three and the prairie dragon has an extremely short hatching time 
So we could throw this in right now and get a Prairie Dragon level 1. But I'm actually going to make this slightly more difficult for myself. And I'm going to pretend like I'm a player that doesn't have Facebook for the first sort of 10 or so levels. But then you can't go, but I can't connect to Facebook, so I can't do the same things as you. Well, fine. Have it your way. We'll do it the hard way, won't we? And now we're going to be downloading content for 7 million years. What was I saying? Oh yeah, if you're going to be adding people, it will add people around about the same level as you, which means that they won't have much reason to reject you really, but add as many people as you possibly can. Join our Discord server, post your recruitment code in there, add other people's recruitment code so that you can add them as a friend. Do note that you can only add friends on the same platform and server as you. So if you're on iOS, you can't add Android players, for example. And um, if you're Android EUR, you can't add Android APA players. So keep that in mind and always make sure you post your platform, server and code when you're trying to add new friends. Otherwise, you're not going to add anyone. So by the time I was level 20 here, I actually had a ton of friends and... Uh, that's really useful because you get lots of bonuses for unlocking gates and you also get loads and loads and loads of stuff out of the friendship totem. So upgrading the friendship totem is another thing that I'm going to be prioritizing. So here you can see that I've already added lots of friends and I'm going back to my map battles because we've got more portal energy again. Rinse and repeato continuously. So Generally speaking, for anyone that's, you know, struggling with getting into the game, it's mainly about the map. I know that these days there's lots of extra stuff, like there's sigils, there's enchantment, and all of that. But, while that does help, and you want to be still doing those things, like enchantment, doing a couple of fights a day, even if you are a, well not a day, but when you've got the the dragons available but doing a couple of those fights getting enchantment materials and um, completing all of your sigil battles every day is still important but map progression comes first because it makes sense right if the further in the map you go you get more food and gold and xp that means you want to be as far in the map as you possibly can to get bonus rewards right it's logical it makes sense and that's how it works. If you're someone that's been sort of slacking on the map because your dragons are sort of struggling, that's really not an excuse. Because, again, you could hire your friend's dragons, and if your excuse is, well, I don't have any friends, that's sort of your own fault for not adding lots of people. I can start a brand new account, and within two days I'll have a 200-person friends list. And that's not just because, you know, I'm... I don't know, I do DML videos or anything. It's just if you post it into Facebook groups, if you post it into the Discord server, places like that, people will add you. And using that nearby friends feature as well, you'll get loads of people in no time. The only thing is, if you add lots of people as a low-level player from the near me feature, they will drop off the game very quickly. So, um... Because I think most players in DML actually stop playing the game before level 10. Which is wild to think about for me, who's been playing for 5 years and 8 months now. But it is just the way that it is. So, um... Might be worth removing some of those friends after a couple of days when they inevitably end up never logging in again. But for the first couple of days, just adding anyone is going to be super good. It's sort of like when you unlock clans, there's no reason to not try and join a clan. So as soon as you get to player level 25, join any clan, regardless of what it is. Get the bonuses for it, and maybe you should make your own at level 30. And this fight, seriously, just kept breaking over and over again, every single time I tried to do it. So I'm just going to throw in the level 6 dragons that I have now, which are a bee and lava dragon. But every time I was trying to use Dragon Fury, it was just breaking. So, I um, you know, DML does like to be a pain sometimes. It's just, um, you know, hindering event progress is quite an annoying thing for the game to do. Anyway, 
We're going to beat up this lilac horn, hopefully, finally. Um, still basically one-shotting us, nearly. Um, but I think we should be fine, especially with Dragon Fury. We are more than fine. So beating him is going to give us an extra ticket, which every single ticket helps. Every single ticket helps. Again, 10,000 gold at this level. So good. So good. Look at that. 10,000 can just upgrade one of our farms. And I'm not upgrading the farm for the sake of the food that it's going to produce. Um, because I think that's another thing that players get really hung up over. The main place that you're going to get food in game actually isn't from your farms. And that sounds weird to say because way, way, way later on when you're putting in spring cherries and squarey berries, it will generate a lot for you. But the farms are not going to be your main source of food. So whoever's taught you that or wherever you've learned that from, unlearn it. Unlearn it because the farms are meaningless to me right now. I'm only doing them for the sake of quests and achievements. But anyway, we've got the water element unlocked now, which means I do want to be throwing the water dragon into our hatchery as soon as I can. But we do need 10,000 more gold. So I may have just spent that on a farm upgrade there, but I know that we can get 10,000 easily. And look at that. We've already got a gift from our friend and we're level eight. Oh, isn't that sweet? We've already got a friend who's gifting us. So let's open this bad boy. Are you going to give me 10k? 10k. 10k and 10 pieces. Lovely. That's all that I need. So, you probably noticed that I've done this during the event on purpose, and I have. Because the events themselves, to lower level players, are so good. Compared to a much higher level player, those recommended breedings, by the way, are garbage. I'm not going to listen to those. But getting as many dragons as possible is important. But events are going to give you the opportunity to get lots of limited stuff. And that actually kind of sucks. I just bred a 13 hour, 59 minute dragon. Well, 14 hours. So um, that means that now our breeding den is full for over half a day. So I'm not going to be getting food from the farms and I'm not going to be getting dragons out of the breeding den. So how exactly am I going to get to play a level 25 in one day? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you asked. And it's mainly the farm. <laughs> not, not the farm. It's mainly the map. Mainly the map. So we need another 10,000 to pop down a water habitat to actually get our water dragon out of the hatchery. So... We're going to need to get another 10k. Where are we going to get another 10k from? Funny you should ask, because we do have the map to go on. But Arya's going to open this gate for us here. Thank you, Arya and Toby, for your assistance. And we're going to unlock our first ever blue map fight. And for doing this, Arya's actually going to give us some bonus energy for free. So this is something that I'm using on purpose now instead of earlier. To give us a nice boost. So, thank you Aya for giving us this bonus three portal energy. We're also going to have times where, because we've got so many friends, they're going to gift us lots of portal gems and lots of gold, and that's also going to help us out a lot. Hence why we've added so many people. But that extra three energy that we just got means that now we can progress further on the map again. You'll notice um, that I actually get sick of map battles at one point or another because you just end up doing so many of them. But they're so important. Like, I, I think that people get sick of me saying it sometimes to lower level players when they're like, uh, help me, how do, I, how do I beat the game? How do I do things in the game fast? And my answer is always going to be, do your map fights. There's nothing else more complicated to it than that. It's like how I get the question asked a lot. How do I get more enchantment materials as a lower level player? And aside from, you know, deranking so that you stay in the lowest bracket that you possibly can. The only other tip that there really is, is just do enchantment battles. 
Like, you'd think that there's some sort of secret, hidden tip that's going to help you out, but there isn't. <laughs> it's just that simple. Just do more battles, get more rewards. It's a very simple game. It's not some big brain, high tier game. And you see that Aya was trying to force me to use Ned as my helper there. I'm actually going to try and do this fight without, but we're probably going to fail. I was hoping that we were going to get a miss on that first attack there. But I think we might get a little bit destroyed here. Especially if this clay dragon is going to hit all of its attacks. Sorry. One thing that you will end up seeing soon with the map progression as well is the fact that I'm going to be taking on a lot of fights in-game that are way too difficult for me, but I'm relying on the bosses missing so that I can keep progressing. The reason I do this is because boss dragons and regular enemies in the game actually have a really high miss rate. I'm not sure exactly what the rate is, but usually you can bank on a boss missing at least once, sometimes twice, in a like six turn fight. And that's huge. Huge. And sometimes wasting one or two energy on getting a, you know, a pass past the boss is actually worth it. So for instance, doing that gave us lots of gold. So now we're going to be able to get our water habitat down soon. And now that our dragons are leveled up slightly, the enemies in this uh, boss challenge event are becoming a lot easier. And since we're going to be having the castle event, it's going to work the same way. If you start off a castle event with dragons that are level 10, for example, the entirety of the event for that stage is going to have dragons that are stuck at that level. So that's a way that you can sort of, especially as a lower level player, completely break the, d the divine event this time, or any event that you come across. If you're going to struggle with your dragons not being able to complete the fights, just break it. <laughs> just break it and set the dragons to level 4. So now if we get level 15 dragons, we're just going to one-shot everything, and it's going to be fantastic. But anyway, we still need to get up to 10,000 gold. So we've got one more energy here. Um, I don't really know what we're going to use it on, blue map fight or further map progression. But I think it might be better to just keep progressing on the map, level up our dragons a little bit. I am going to level up two dragons because without upgrades to our attacks, these fights are going to be really difficult. So I'm going to throw these boys into a fight over here. But since I've just noticed that we've got the vault, since we need the gold, it's also worth considering whether it's going to be better to unlock the gold vault now. Well, the gold vault, the gold battle right now. And uh, that'll allow you to generate more gold every hour. So, um... Yeah, I think doing the gold vault here is going to be the better thing to do because, again, we are desperate for gold at the moment. And while progressing on the map is going to give us more resources as a whole, right now, just prioritizing the at least a couple of gold vaults is going to help us out. Later on, I might not prioritize the gold vaults quite as much, but if you are desperate for gold for unlocking things, consider the gold vault and make sure you're coming back and collecting from them. But for the early stages, I'm not going to worry about three-starring fights too much. We can do that when we end up coming back with bonus energy after we've started upgrading ourselves. But there's a lot to do in the, in the first few levels. And you can literally sit there and play for a solid few hours for the first few levels of DML if you keep getting full portal energy, leveling up, coming back you can easily play for like a solid three hours. And for DML, that's nearly unheard of. But you can see with the Gilded Mine, we're gonna generate every single second. And again, that unlocks level nine. So we'll be coming very, very close every single time, like just about making it to the next level with the amount of energy that we have. But we can do keep doing this for a very, very long period. So, now that we've sort of, we've got more map battles to do, but I think we're going to prioritise quests a little bit. So, sending gifts to friends, 
we might have a couple more friends now petting dragons having 10 habitats we can probably do that very soon as well i'm going to throw in some more farm food in a second as well but i don't want to be wasting the gold too much but anyway we've got these fights to do so we're going to come back and do this blue fight now and our dragons are a little bit of a higher level so maybe we can three star them because with blue map fights of course they will only replenish if you three star them if you one or two star them then they're just going to sit there and they're not going to come back because the difference between regular map battles and the blue map battles the side quest battles is that side quest battles refresh which gives you a constant stream of a battle to do to get bonus resources so we did three star it which means that that fight is going to replenish in probably like six hours ish or I don't remember if it's six hours or every 12 hours anymore because they did change it at one point but generally speaking I would come back every eight to 12 hours minimum because that's what I do on my main Windows account if I come back every six ish to 10 ish hours there tends to be more fights there but it's a little bit weird when you're a lower level player because you've got so few fights actually unlocked but that'll become more apparent as we go through we do have the earth element unlocked which means if we come across any water dragons they're going to get decimated as well which is going to be good for getting three stars in battles and understanding what you need to do to get three stars in battles instead of two stars will sometimes help you I'm not going to worry about it too much at this stage but overall getting three stars in every fight will net you lots of bonus resources and you can see here I am primarily leveling up my uncommon and another common because I didn't get a different uncommon yet but leveling up my uncommon mainly and using that as my main dragon is going to be important as I mentioned before sigils higher stats in general I don't know why DML made it that just having a higher rarity dragon means that that dragon just has a higher base stat but that's the world that we live in it's not like pokemon where you can have um i don't know just a random underused pokemon that can do really good stuff um in this game commons are just the worst stats wise elements wise or lack of i should say really um i mean it's like compared to an epic why would you use a common or an uncommon because an epic has three elements it has higher base damage you can use higher tier sigils there's no reason to use them except right now we don't have really any other option we do have that prairie i will use him later on but i just want to show you that even without having that prairie unlocked at level three you can still destroy the map easy peasy lemon squeezy so anyway we've got our farm here and we also have the mystic cave which i want to unlock so we'll need level 10 for that but that is my profilo now I just like I like having dragons at a higher level than my player level it's not often I get to see that we will get another 10,500 DCP and then we'll unlock plant after that but an hour to wait for a water habitat is so tempting to gem it I'm not gonna do that we don't need to do that we can just play for the next hour straight without having to gem it I think that's going to be the best thing for resource wise and there is level 10 and we've also unlocked VIP at this point so it gets level 10 you get one day of VIP by default that's also huge you'll get lots of VIP tickets for doing things in the events like um opening up divine chests doing quests VIP is massive because VIP even at level one which is the free VIP that doesn't even let you reduce hatching timers or anything or breeding I guess but VIP level one still gives bonus resource I guess um bonus resource gathering from map fights as in every fight that you complete you are going to get bonus food and gold and XP so every single time you're doing map fights try and make sure that you have vip on 
level one VIP sounds bad, but it's really not. And relying on one day VIP tickets, not too bad. Now, obviously you can buy 20 days of VIP for um, 199 gems. That is an, another option, but I would say only after you have already gotten your portal upgrades and your hatchery level two is a minimum. After that, you can start considering using it on keeping your VIP active. But before that point, you need that hatchery upgrade at two and you definitely need portal upgrades. Because if you've got every single time you level up, imagine if we had eight energy instead of what is it that we've got now, four or five. So having that much extra energy is obviously going to give you that much extra in terms of resources. And it's going to allow you to keep playing for longer and it's going to give you just more things. So VIP is important. Obviously, the higher your VIP level, the better off you're going to be. Um, but I'm not planning on spending money on this. So that is just the way that we are. That's why it, it is difficult sometimes deciding between the Dragon Master Pass and just buying the on-sale clam for a couple of dollars or pounds. But we're at level 11, which has also unlocked Arena now. And Arena, I was just talking about how important VIP is. Arena is also really good. Main reason being that when you get streaks in the arena, you get gold, you can get arena gems, you can get gems, and you can get dragon fury essence. And since we are going to be, every time we level up, we get a full portal refresh and we get an arena refresh, now we don't just have to use 100% of our portal energy, before we level up, we're going to have to use 100% of our arena energy too. So <laughs> it does become quite a lot to get through and six arena fights is actually quite a lot to have to sort of grind. But trust me, it is so important that you do this. I think a lot of people miss out on the actual arena stuff. And plus, obviously, when you promote yourself in the arena, you get other bonuses. You can unlock an agent dragon really quick. Um, but mainly the streak rewards are important. Regardless of your player level, every single player in DML can do an easy arena fight. If you just want to guarantee that you don't destroy your streak, just do the easy fights. Because the easy fights, well, all of the fights are scaled to your current dragon level. And what sigils they have, enchantment level, blah blah blah. But, regardless of your player level, you should be doing arena streaks. Obviously, progress in the map as fast as you can, but along with that, make sure you're doing arena streaks. You will thank yourself so much, and say you get to max level and you're in the Elite League, having 2,000 arena gems to use is going to be really good. Because at that point, you're trying to unlock legendaries like the Amazon, and uh, if you don't have many arena gems, you're going to struggle. Luckily for us at level 11, we've also unlocked daily tasks in the Dragon Master Pass. So this is fantastic for us. Dragon Master Pass, I am going to start hatching fire dragon eggs. But I'm going to start doing that after we get our second hatchery slot. So I'm not going to do that quite yet. But daily tasks, make sure you do these as a lower level player. Because they're super simple. You know, players of any level can do them. Just make sure that you don't gift all of your friends all at once because there is a quest to do that. But, you know, feeding dragons a couple of times, gifting friends, um, doing an arena battle, not difficult. And then we come across another big problem for a lot of newer players, temples. Now, people struggle with temples a lot. And it's understandable, right? Because temples just... They're basically in game just to slow you down and require you to have more dragons at a set level with the same element to upgrade them. So this is the reason why right now I am leveling up quite a few dragons evenly. Whereas my normal strat for completing the map is to use one high level dragon. The reason I'm not doing that is one temples and two we also don't have a great dragon to upgrade on its own yet. 
Now, if we had a divine that we could fully enchant or just an epic that we could fully enchant that was really strong, I might consider just leveling up that one dragon on its own. But we have to be mindful of the temples right now. Because having your dragon stuck at level 10 or, or level 15 or level 20 or level 30 really does hold back your map progress. So this is a big hurdle that people start encountering at level 11. So um, we need to focus on that. We've also got all of the ad videos and we've also got these tasks, which you can't actually do these on PC, but you can do them on Android. These tasks can get you lots of extra gems, but it requires you to download other games, play through them. And I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just do everything in game as a player would normally play because I don't think you should have to play another game to play this game. That doesn't make any sense. But anyway, we got some DCP and we got, well, not some DCP, but we did get some Dragon Master points. So we got 10 pieces of Apollo. It's not going to help us right now. But technically, right now, as a free to play player, we could go out of our way to unlock Apollo. Free to play, you can unlock Apollo at 8,000 points, which um, seems impossible. It's technically speaking not, but with only one hatchery slot, it would take you many days of constant grinding. So I'm not going to do that because I don't want to gouge my eyeballs out. Um, but I will be getting quite a few points soon with a second hatchery upgrade slot because there is... A lot of gold and a lot of food available very early on in that pass and if you just sit there and grind hatchings for about 20 minutes you can get yourself like 2 million gold at player level 15. It's pretty good. Imagine having 2 million gold at level 15. We're gonna do that. We are gonna do that and um, you'll see just how how much value you can get out of it. So Another thing is, because obviously I've said before that clearing out islands gives a lot of bonus experience, aside from doing map battles and all of that normal stuff, but having more islands to clear the things off of is obviously also going to be a big part of it. So unlocking a second island, so we've got lots of space, and clearing out the objects on that is going to be important. I'm not going to worry about the Dragon of the Month and I'm not going to worry about the Dragon of the Week right now because I can't actually breed either of them with the dragons that I currently have. But this boss fight is probably going to be pretty much the ending point for where I'm going to be right now. But I think that we can do this fight, the oddest. We just have to get lucky and hope that we don't get screwed over with RNG. But just hoping for a miss or two should be good enough. Oh god, it's already going pear-shaped. But this is going to be the, the end of this part for now. This was the first sort of 10 plus levels. Now, there's a lot to this and a lot of it comes down to map grinding and a lot of it does come down to having VIP active while you do it. But for anyone that's been struggling with the first few player levels or even into like player level 50, it's the same sort of concept. So um, I do hope it helped you out. We will be back with more DML Rebirth. And uh, I hope that you are going to stick around just like you did for Reborn. But, you know, ads, ads everywhere. I hate them. I'm going to skedaddle.